We're talking about money to help put more people to work, and a big part of how that works is through what's known as the Regional Workforce Impact Program, and that's available through the North Dakota Department of Commerce. Joining me now to talk about that is Katie Ralston Howe from the Department of Commerce in this evening's KX Conversation. Katie, thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks so much for having me. So you're just starting the kind of the round of paperwork, looking for good ideas around the state. Tell me about how this program works. Sure. So the Regional Workforce Impact Program, or RWIP as we like to call it, was first started in late 2021 with funding under the American Rescue Plan Act. And it was really designed around the idea that a lot of communities have great ideas for how to address their workforce challenges, but they don't necessarily have the resources to do so. And so we created a program and throughout the last couple of years, we've been able to support 60 programs or projects throughout the state. And now we're really proud to be able to offer this resource again for uh, community partners, economic development organizations, job development authorities, chambers of commerce, regional planning councils, and more to apply for funding to address the workforce challenges in their communities. Any kind of limitations, any kind of, uh, in terms of requirements, what you're asking of how best this money could be used and what it could be spent on when it comes to trying to create some workforce out there? Well, we have built in some parameters. Um, the, the buckets that we have for applications are around talent attraction. We know that we have more jobs available than people to fill them. And so we'd love to see uh, regions develop ways to help promote opportunities and recruit workers to their areas. Retention is another big one really connected to talent attraction. And then we also have uh, child care centers. We saw that being a huge emphasis in the first round of the RWIP. And so we wanted to make sure that child care centers are able to use funding to increase capacity again. We also have some infrastructure built in there because we know that we need to sometimes build up the resources that we already have to enhance uh, what they're able to do for communities and for employers. You talk about two years of this, it's still relatively new on the landscape and everything, but if you, you know, also talking about some of those 60 examples, when you go back and look at that in the relatively short time, is there anything about it that has, that has surprised you or anything that jumps off the page as far as what has worked really well so far? Yeah, the biggest shock for us actually in the first round of the RWIP was how many childcare facilities took advantage of the opportunity to expand capacity. And so through the first round of the RWIP, we were able to support the expansion of 1,600 childcare slots throughout the state of North Dakota. And that was a surprise to us because we didn't know going in that that would be such a huge focus for, for the program. And so we're really proud of the impact that we were able to make in that area, even though it was one that we weren't necessarily anticipating. Is it really that quick to where you have some of those conversations in some of these small towns with moms and dads who say, you find me someone who can look after my son or daughter, I can start tomorrow. I mean, is it really a snap of a finger like that? Yeah, it's huge. We're now that, you know, these projects are a lot of them were infrastructure. And so now that that piece of the project is done, we're seeing these facilities actually fill the new slots that they have available. And they're starting to report back on how many workers are impacted. So maybe both mom and dad are able to enter and move throughout the workforce in a way they couldn't before. And this even affects extended family too and, and other care providers that are stepping in to, to help out when parents are in a pinch for childcare. We're talking once again about the Regional Workforce Impact Program. If you think this could be a good fit for your small town around the state, just check out the North Dakota Department of Commerce website for more information. And my guest once again is Katie Ralston Howe. Katie, thanks so much again for being here. Thank you.